Hello children I'm your science teacher Tilak and I want you to subscribe the channel so that you get the notification of my latest video and you can continue with your studies Let us start the lesson So children in this chapter number 3 fiber fabric and clothing we are going to revise some important topics like food air water shelter clothes are also our basic need and they protect us from unfavorable climatic conditions you have studied about cotton silk and wool and you also learned how synthetic fibers are useful as well as harmful right so based on the sources natural fiber can also be classified as plant fiber and animal fiber such as silk and wool are animal fiber and cotton and jute are plant fiber natural fibers have some characteristics they absorb moisture and allow the air to pass through them and they keep us comfortable all year around whether it is cold or it is hot summer animal fibers such as silk obtained from silk worm and wool obtained from different animals like sheep goat alpaca camel yak rabbit etc right they also have something in common and what are these they are soft comfortable some are wrinkle resistant and some are wrinkle and shrink and some are supposed to be protected from heat and moisture such as wool it has to be dry clean right it is wrinkle resistant now see these are the silk worm silk worm feed on mulberry leaves and they eat and eat and this you know when they fully grow up they will start winding some thread like structure which is made up of protein around their body and they make a ball which is called cocoon you can see white color ball like structures and the inside this the worm is killed after boiling it and the silk thread are obtained from these cocoons and now you see the plant fibers such as cotton jute flax linen all these are obtained from yes obtained from plants you can see this is cotton plant and you can see one picture in one picture it is cotton ball which is not fully mature after it is fully mature it will burst open and seeds covered with cotton fiber can be seen and these plants grow in hot and humid environment and what kind of soil is required black soil is required so karnataka maharashtra and gujarat these states the cotton plants are grown and cotton is one of the most comfortable fabric to be worn in all climatic condition now see jute jute is one of the cheapest fabric or fiber which is used for various products making various products now making for clothes also it is blended with some other fiber and used for making clothes now when it is at flowering stage it is cut and submerged in water you will see this is a jute fiber and after 20 days it is removed and it is dried and you know golden colored long fibers are obtained now before we move on to another topic it is very important to understand what is fiber fabric and yarn you know when you will pull out some uh, old cloth thread like structure structure will be co coming out from there and when you will wind it unwind it and you will see that some hair like structures will be seen now what are these hair like structures these are fibers fibers now are the basic component of fabric fabric means fabrics are dress material these are very tiny hair like strands which are the basic units of yarn these yarns are made by 
you know tightly twisting or you can say spinning together two or more strands of fibers and this way these fibers become very strong and change into yarn yes this process can be done by manually by using takli or some other equipments or it can be also done by using machines now after spinning of cotton yarn or wool we can see these kind of reels you can call it as thread also and very big reels are obtained which can again be transferred in, transformed into fabrics and now we will understand what is fabric how it is converted into sheets of clothes or dress materials or fabric now see this picture carefully it reminds us of yes father of nation mahatma gandhi he used to use this instrument manual instrument to spun cotton yarn this is the dyed yarn yes now this yarns are arranged in the looms horizontally and vertically or straight way and weaving is done now this is how the knitting is done with the help of kneading needles this is very common you might have seen your mother or grandmother using these needles to make sweaters right now see this is how the loops and locked loops are made and these loops will change into you know a kind of fabric which is turned into sweater now this is the process of weaving in which this is very simple method of describing the weaving process now let us see very small explanation over here this is a device it is called the frame for making you know making the fabric out of yarn now the yarns are arranged vertically or straight as you can see in the picture this is called weft and the horizontal weft yarn now this weft yarn will move yes alternately in between these weft yarn and now a flat surface will be formed this flat surface framed by or made by yarns vertical and horizontal yarns is termed as fabric yes this fabric you can say dress material can be of cotton yes woolen or made up of jute or some other synthetic fibers yes rayon nylon you remember yes these this is how these yarns are converted into the sheet or you can say flattened fibers which is used as dress material for making different types of dresses right now this picture shows how the cotton ball is changed into fibers fiber is changed into yarn yarn is woven or woven or knitted into the dress material or fabrics right now time to understand the difference between natural and synthetic fiber natural fiber come from natural sources and synthetic fibers are made by humans using chemicals the natural fiber has natural color but the synthetic fibers are dyed in different colors and spinneret is used yes to make synthetic fiber and there may be dust or some impurities in natural fiber so these are some advantages and disadvantages let us see for thousands of years natural fibers were used but you know about the exhaustible and in inexhaustible resources right the natural substances if not used carefully will be exhausted so scientists thought about this and they did a lot of research and they discovered and invented the process of 
finding out how to replace these natural fibers. Now they made the synthetic fiber using petrochemicals. Synthetic fibers do not depend on agricultural crop and it is very cheap because the cost, production cost is less in case of synthetic fiber. They dry up quickly, they are durable, they can be found in varieties of colors, right? So as they dry up and they are stain resistant, they do not, you know, they do not wrinkle also. We don't need much stress to, you know, maintain them. But there are some disadvantages because they are prone to heat damage. They melt easily. Yes. So what happens? They should not be worn while working in kitchen. Always cotton cloths should be worn while working in the kitchen because they when they will burn they will shrink and stick to the skin and cause very deep damage to the skin right so you, you have to be very careful not to enter kitchen wearing synthetic fibers now there is one solution to get desirable qualities from both the synthetic and the natural fiber blended or combination of fibers are made which you will be studying in higher classes so this is all for today hope you will learn and will ask questions yes in the comment box so before we wind up our class i would like to ask you one question you have to name the first synthetic fiber and also try to tell me how it got its name Okay, write down in the comment box. If suppose you, any topic you haven't understood, you can discuss with me in virtual class. Bye-bye.